today's video, we're going to be going over how to set up your online ordering outlet for your retail shop. Now, there's going to be three different options for how you can set up your merchandise, and we'll go over all three. But first, let's go into the online ordering outlet, and we'll go over a couple of the settings in here that you're going to want to double check before you get started. When I go in here, I'm going to select my Pro Shop outlet. Now, in this screen, you're going to want to double check your sales area, make sure that's linked to your retail shop. Uh, down below, make sure all your pictures are located in this image folder. And then below that, we have a couple different order types that you can activate, whether you want your members to be able to pick it up or have to-go orders. For me, I'm just going to activate one. And then make sure this flag for orders to go directly to the printers is off. When that's off, we're going to use the queue system, which will send an email to our staff, letting us know that an order has been submitted online. So enter in all the emails here and then activate the email that you want to be active. Next, we're going to go into the scheduling feature. And here you can uh, dictate when your online ordering outlet is open to and from. After that, we can go into the menu group setup, in which case you can set up different groups in here and set up the items that are part of each group. In this button here for the item detail setup, this is where you would set up your items. Now let's look at option number one. For option one, if we click into the item detail setup, you'll notice that I have one item in here for my Under Armour tapered pants. Now, unfortunately, I only have one SKU for this, but I have multiple different sizes and colors. You can see there's only one item code. So to get around that, what we can do is we can add something in the description field to prompt your members to choose what size and what color they want for that item. So type that in there. And then if we go look on the website, once that's in, we can click on our item right here. And then you can see there's a little description box prompting your members to type in the size and color that they want to select. So if I'm a member, I'm going to add this item to my cart. I'm going to go to the checkout. And now I can enter into the notes field what size and what color I want. And that will appear uh, when it goes through into Jonas in the notes section. I can submit that order and away we go. For option number two, we're going to go into the item detail setup again. And in this option, you'll notice for my FootJoy Tour X shoe, again, I have multiple different sizes in multiple colors but there's only one item code. So if I click into that item, you'll notice up top, I have the prep option menu code active there, in which case I'm using my prep option menus to dictate or to allow the members to choose what size shoe they can pick. So if you want to set that one up, let's go into point of sale, system setup and preparation option menu design. In there, I have one set up for my shoe sizes. Now in this screen, in the first two fields, input the size or the color that you want to add onto these buttons. If there's any additional price, you can input that in there and then input the prep item if applicable. Now make sure you double check the minimum and maximum number of selections. This will appear online and that's done under the options button. After that, you're going to want to go into your sales item setup, which is point of sale, system setup and sales items. In here, look up that item that you want to be available online. And then attach that prep option menu code into this section right here. You can have up to six different prep option menus. Online, that's going to look like this. If we click on our shoe, down below on this screen, you can see you have a menu there where you can choose the shoe size. And you can have multiple of these screens. You can have one for colors as well. So I'm going to add that to my cart. I'm going to go to the checkout. And now I can see for this item, the size is listed right there. And I can still add any sort of notes I want to add and submit the order. For option number three, we'll go back into the item details setup. And the third option, we're going to have each item for every different code that you have. So every gender code, every size code, and every color code. Okay, if you want to do this option, you can see here I have a Peter Millar men's small pink polo, medium, and large. 
And how that will look online is just like this. You'd have one item for every gender, size, and color code. Now, if you want to set that up, an easy way to do it is to use the master SKU setup program. So we're going to go into inventory, files, and then you're going to want to set up these codes ahead of time. So your styles, your colors, your sizes, all of those codes you'll have to set up first. Then we can go into the master SKUs. We'll select our inventory area. We'll hit set up a new master SKU. I'm going to set one up for my Wilson golf balls, the Wilson duos. Then input a little description for this master SKU, Wilson staff duo. Select your supplier. And then in this screen, select the inventory category it's a part of. Input your cost price. Input your stock location. And then input your retail and member selling price. Next, you'll want to double check the credit book if you are using the credit book module. And then when you're done, you can hit create SKUs. And now you choose all the different color, size, uh, gender combinations that this item could be. So for my golf balls, I have some pink Wilson staff duos, some yellow ones, and some white ones. If you hit next, you can add all the different codes. If there was any size codes, gender codes, style, miscellaneous, or vintage codes, I can add that to the list as well. And then just link this item to a point of sale category. For me, I'm going to link it to my golf balls. Now, as soon as you hit next, now you, uh, the system allows you to input a description for each one of these items. So it's going to have Wilson Staff Duo, and then I'm going to input the color code at the end of that description. If there are any more codes, you can activate those as well. So I'm going to do that for my SKU description and my CHIT description. Then I'm going to hit the preview button. And now you can see the system automatically creates three different SKUs for me for my pink golf balls, my white golf balls, and my yellow golf balls. So double check these descriptions, make sure it looks OK. And then up top, you're going to want to identify the first SKU number that you're going to use for the first item. And then the system will fill in the rest of the SKU numbers. Now hit the view button. And then system prompts to you to say that it's created the SKUs. If you want to double check this, go into the setup of the SKUs, choose your inventory area, and look up those SKUs. Now you can see Jonas automatically created those three SKUs for me.